This is about generating electricity using renewable sources of energy. So energy sources that won't run out and we should be able to use them forever and ever and ever. So we're going to talk about five different types. We'll start with solar energy. That's energy from the sun and we can use solar cells to trap the sun's light and turn it into a direct current. We've also got wind turbines which use uh, the movement energy of the wind to turn a turbine and generate electricity. We've also got tidal power which is um, tidal energy rather so I've got a river and I've got a barrage across the river and when the tide goes in and the tide goes out it turns the turbine and generates electricity. We've got hydroelectric power which is using the energy in water when it's stored up high in a reservoir and then I can open a chute and the water travels through the dam and it turns the turbine and it generates electricity and the last one is geothermal that means using energy from the uh, hot magma, hot rocks underneath the surface of the earth and I can use that to heat up water to turn it into steam and that will turn a turbine and generate electricity. Right, you need to know about the advantages and disadvantages of renewable energy sources. And obviously one advantage is that they are renewable so they won't run out and also that none of them cause pollution and that's a definite advantage. Let's look at the disadvantages here. Well look, solar energy is only really good in sunny countries and doesn't work at night time. Hydroelectricity, well dams are expensive to build and we may be affecting the wildlife nearby if we build those dams. Some people say that wind turbines spoil the landscape and also the wind needs to be at the right speed for them to work effectively. With geothermal energy, that's only going to work in certain places where there's geothermal activity, for instance, the country of Iceland. And with tidal power, again, we're going to need to build tidal barrages across rivers, and it, that will only work in certain places. Again, by building those barrages, we might affect the wildlife nearby.